Buster. Daddy Bus and Buster are driving across the hills. <laughs> oh, look! It's a baby deer. What's it running from? Huh? It's Traxon in the train. Oh, no. What's wrong? Traxon can't stop. Quick! Buster and Daddy Bus to the rescue. Oh, no. He's speeding up. Daddy Bus is calling Otis the police car. This is an emergency. Ah! There's a branch on the tracks. Daddy Bus swoops in and moves it. Hooray! Well done, Daddy Bus. Looks like the tracks change directions up ahead. Daddy Bus and Buster are pulling the levers to change the direction of the tracks. But oh no! Terry is crossing the tracks! Change them quick! That was close. Now Traxon is going round and round. He's getting dizzy. Oh no, watch out! Phew, Daddy was just in time. Looks like Buster has a plan. They need to direct Traxon towards the hill. The hill is slowing him down. He stopped! Hooray! Go, Buster! <laughs> Otis has arrived on the scene. This doesn't look like an emergency. Oops. It's a sunny day at Buster's house. Oh, look! Mommy Bus is helping a kitten with a sore leg. There, all fixed and bandaged up. Scout is here to drive to school with Buster. They are playing in the playground. Oh dear! Scout hurt her tire. Buster's got an idea. What is he up to? He's bandaged up Scout's tire with toilet roll. All fixed! Great work, Buster! Looks like Ash wants to be bandaged up as well. And now Scout wants her other tires bandaged up. But Buster is all out of toilet roll. Bandit has a cheeky idea. They're all taking the toilet roll. They're getting the toilet roll everywhere. This looks very messy. They're getting a bit carried away. Oh dear, they've covered the playground in toilet roll. Teacher doesn't seem very pleased. Mommy Bus is here to take Buster home. She wonders what has upset the teacher. Buster explains he was trying to help Scout like Mommy helped the kitten. Mommy will be able to bandage it properly. Time to get properly fixed up. It's a sunny day in the school playground. And Buster and Scout are drawing together. Uh-oh. Looks like they both want the blue crayon. Buster snatches it. And now Scout is trying to snatch it back. It's given Buster and Bandit a great idea for a game they can all play together. <laughs> Using their imaginations. <laughs> it's cops and robbers. Buster and Bandit are the robbers. And Ash and Scout are the cops trying to catch them. Off they go. The chase is on. Buster and Bandit are splitting up. 
Oh no! Bandit is cornered! Aha! He's got a plan! Where has he gone? Hang on a second! That fox is moving! Quick, Ash! You can catch him! He's jumping off that ramp! Go, Buster! I wonder if Buster and Bandit are going to escape! They're all getting very close! Whoa! Watch out! Buster and Bandit have driven straight into jail! Hooray for the cops, Scout, and Ash! Time to give up the crayon, Buster! <laughs> that was fantastic! What a brilliant game! Now Scout can finally finish off her drawing! Buster and Bandit are free to go! What a fantastic playtime, everyone! Buster and his friends are having a great time camping in the woods with Daddy Bus. Daddy is making some spooky shadows as he tells them a ghost story. Whoa, that monster is super scary! Phew, don't worry, gang. It's only Daddy Bus. Looks like it's time for bed. Good night, everyone. Daddy Bus is off to collect some more firewood for the fire. Good night, Buster. Hang on. What is Buster up to? He's turning the firewood into scary antlers. Scout is fast asleep. Yikes! What is that? <gasps> it's Buster's scary shadow! Poor Scout! <laughs> Don't worry, Scout. It was only Buster. <laughs> now it's Bandit's turn to be pranked. Aha! The spooky shadow scared him as well. Looks like Buster is getting sleepy. But Bandit and Scout have a plan. Buster is sleeping peacefully. But there's a scary monster! And another one! Go, Buster, go! That served Buster right. Great job, gang. What is that? Oh, no! It's a real spooky monster! Phew! It was just Daddy Bus carrying back more firewood. That's enough scaring for one evening. All that joking around has made them very tired. Daddy Bus is taking Buster, Bandit, and Scout on a camping trip in the woods. It's time to set up the campsite. First, they've got to put up their tents. Daddy is showing them how. He's hammering in the pegs to stop the tent from blowing away. Look, they are keeping the tent in place. Aha! All done! Whilst Daddy Bus collects wood for the fire, Buster and his friends are finishing their tents. <gasps> what was that? <laughs> Bandit has some marshmallows. <gasps> Yummy! <gasps> oh no! Buster didn't hammer the pegs in properly. The tent has come loose. He can't see a thing. Watch out, Scout! <gasps> Uh-oh, it's blowing away! Will Buster be able to catch it? Scout and Bandit join in to help. <gasps> Go, Buster, you can do it! Aha, it's finally fallen to the ground. Oh dear, not again! Daddy Bus, look out! Oops, the firewood has gone flying! You, he's okay. Time to finally put the tent up. Let's make sure all the pegs are in this time, Buster. Great job! I wonder.
wonder what Daddy Bus has planned next. <laughs> wow! <laughs> They're roasting marshmallows. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. <laughs> what a brilliant day. It's a windy day at the park. Buster and Daddy Bus are here for a fun day out. Daddy Bus has a surprise for Buster. What could it be? Oh, look! It's a kite! Buster gets ready to fly it. Daddy Bus pushes it up into the air. Wow! It's flying so high! Well done, Buster! Look! It's Monty, the hot air balloon! Oh, no! A big gust of wind has blown the kite away! It's caught on Monty, and he hasn't noticed! Don't worry, Buster! Daddy has a plan! Oops! Watch out, Daddy Bus! Whoa! Great header! Go, Buster! Bandit and Ash look very confused. Where are they going? Buster is trying to get Monty's attention. But he's not looking where he's going. Watch out! Oh, no! Buster has driven straight into a muddy puddle. He's stuck in the mud! Daddy heaves him out! Great teamwork, guys! Uh-oh! A tree has fallen across the road! But that won't stop them. Daddy Bus flies right over the log. And Buster slides straight underneath. Wow! That was awesome! Quick! There's Monty! Looks like Daddy Bus has an idea. There's a huge pile of mud, and they're splashing through it. What are they doing? They've drawn a picture of their kite in the mud, and Monty has finally noticed the kite wrapped around him. Oops! Buster gets his kite back. Thank you, Monty! Hold tight, Buster! Phew! That was a close one! Buster and his friends are back at school. They are telling each other what they got up to over the summer. Buster is so excited to tell everyone about his shark tooth. But first, Scout is telling everyone what she got up to over the summer. This summer, I went surfing for the first time ever. It was so cool. There was this one wave I saw that was absolutely massive. But I still got to surf it without falling off. And I went so fast. Scoot, scoot. Wow, Scout told such a cool story. Huh. What's wrong with Buster? Mm. Oh, he thinks his shark tooth story won't be interesting enough after Scout's story. Buster is going to tell everyone how he got the tooth. This summer, I went exploring in the deep, dark wood. It's full of animals and monsters, but I wasn't afraid one bit. <laughs> But then, I came face to face with a dinosaur! <gasps> but he had a sore tooth. So I took it out for him to make him feel all better. Wait a second, that's not right. Dinosaurs are extinct. Oh dear, Bandit thinks Buster isn't telling the truth. He couldn't really meet a dinosaur, could he? Oh. <sighs> All right. It's not really a dinosaur tooth. Mm. It's a shark tooth. I thought that wouldn't be mm. interesting enough. But Buster, sharks are way cooler than dinosaurs. Go, Buster, tell us the story. <laughs> story. <laughs> this summer, I was at the beach, but then I saw... Mm. No. Yes! Oh. Pirates are even cooler than sharks! <laughs> Yarm, hearties! <laughs> hmm. Okay. The pirates and me, we found a shark, but he had a sore tooth. So we decided oh. to take the tooth hmm. out with a little help from a friendly little bee! <laughs> we took out the sore tooth and then they played catch with it! Gotcha! <laughs> and they played on the beach all day long. 
What a great story! It's so much fun to use your imagination, <laughs> especially with friends. Buster is so excited to go play with his best friend, Scout. What'll they play today? Ooh, Grandpa has a remote-controlled car! Buster's going to control it first. Vroom, vroom! Look at it go! Now Scout wants to go. But Buster wants to keep driving. Uh-oh, Scout doesn't think that's fair. She wants a turn. Oh dear. Now they're fighting over the remote. They both want to control the toy car. Oh no! The car crashed and broke. Now nobody can play with it. Buster and Scout are upset with each other. They're not playing anymore. It's so sad when friends argue. But wait, I think Grandpa has an idea. He's giving the remote to Scout and the toy car to Buster. They'll need to work together to fix it. <laughs> oh, now they've made up. Oh. Friends always forgive each other. <laughs> there! Now they can both control the car. It's evening time, and Buster's cousin Bandit is coming for a sleepover. <laughs> this is going to be so much fun. First, it's time for a snack. I wonder what it will be. Oh, wow! Cookies! They look so tasty! Buster and Bandit love cookies. There, one each. <laughs> Yummy! Now Mommy's put them away. But Bandit knows where they are. Bandit and Buster have such a fun evening playing together. But then it's time for bed. They want to stay up longer, but Mommy says no. Hmm, I think Bandit has an idea. I wonder what he's whispering. Now everyone's fast asleep. But what's this? Bandit's waking up. Buster too. They're sneaking back downstairs. Oh, Bandit is going to steal some more cookies. That's very naughty. Oops, that made a loud noise. Mommy's caught them. She's very disappointed in Buster and Bandit. The two little buses are very sorry. They'll go back to bed now as they're told. But the next morning, Buster and Bandit have surprised Mommy by making breakfast. They wanted to show how sorry they were. Buster is telling Cozy Coop a story. Once upon a time, the adventurers Buster and Cozy were driving through the deep wood. They came to a castle where King Terry lived. They were very excited to see him. But then, the evil villain Bandit locked Terry in the jail cell and stole his crown. Buster and Cozy wanted to help, but Bandit shut the drawbridge so they couldn't get in. Oh dear. 
But then, Buster had a plan. First, he got a big log. Cozy hopped on one end. And Buster bounced them high into the air. Cozy flew right over the castle walls. Bandit chased after them. But clever Cozy got away. Cozy was up on the wall. They pulled the lever and opened the drawbridge again. Bandit was angry and chased after Buster. But Buster tricked him. He climbed onto the log and, boing, Buster flew over the castle walls too. Bandit tried to chase him, but Cozy shut the drawbridge again. Splash! Bandit ended up in the castle mode. Buster and Cozy rescued King Terry and gave him his crown back. Then Terry put Bandit back in jail where he belongs. Hooray for Buster and Cozy! The end. What a great story that was. Look! Buster has arrived early for school today. There's Scout and Diggly. Whoops! Buster slipped on some oil. Oh dear, the blackboard is wrecked. Scout flipped too. Phew! Oh no, the clock is broken too. What a mess. And here comes the teacher. They'll need to clean everything up really quick. But the board is too heavy for Scout. And Diggly can't pick up the letters. Buster tries to fix the clock, but there are so many pieces. I think Buster has a plan. They can swap jobs. Scout can collect up all the letters, then Diggly and Buster can lift the blackboard together. Scout knows her ABCs. She can put the letters back. Now for the clock. Diggly can fix that. He loves fixing machines. There, all done. Just in time, here comes the teacher. Well? Everything looks normal. Uh, apart from that letter. And the time isn't right. And the number. One, two, three, four. Good as new. It's a bright new morning. And Buster looks so excited. It's Diggly's birthday today. Buster can't wait to go to the party. Buster eats breakfast as quick as he can. Look, it's Scout. She's got Diggly's present ready and wrapped up. How exciting. Oh no, Buster accidentally ran over the present. It's flat as a pancake. Poor Buster. It was just an accident. But wait. I think Buster has an idea. Look, Scout's grabbing that old cardboard box. And Buster's grabbing that bowl of sweets. There's the wooden stick, too. <laughs> and the arts and crafts box. I wonder what they're up to. It's another present. <laughs> but what could be inside? Now Buster and Scout are speeding off to Diggly's party. They mustn't be late. Diggly is waiting. His party has already started. But phew, there's Scout and Buster. They made it. <laughs> Diggly's opening his present and... Whoa! It's a pinata! 
It's Diggly's birthday, so he gets to hit it with the stick. Off he goes. One more smack. Look at all those sweets. An amazing birthday present. It's Buster. Time to wake up. It's a bright new day. Look, Mommy has made Buster's breakfast already. Jam on toast. Buster's favorite. Ouch! Buster drove over that toy. It's okay. Mommy can kiss it all better. There. Now Buster can go out and play soccer. How exciting! <laughs> now Buster is playing in the park with Scout. Nice one, Scout. But oh no! The soccer ball has gotten stuck in the tree. But look! Mommy has knocked the ball free again. Well done, Mommy. Now they can keep on playing. What's this? Mommy and Buster are painting a picture. It's so much fun to paint together. Look, the sun has a face. But oh dear, Buster is sleepy. It's been such a busy day. Time for Buster to go to bed now. First, Mommy reads Buster a bedtime story. Aw, good night, Buster. It was so much fun spending the day playing with Mommy. She really is the best. <laughs> Look, Buster and Cozy Coop are playing in the park. There's Iggy the ice cream truck. <laughs> Buster's going to grab some ice cream. But what's that? It's Robot Buster. He's turned yellow like Buster. Cozy thinks it's the real Buster and wants to play. But oh no! The ball hit Robot Switch and it turned him mean. Robot Buster is leading Cozy away. Now Buster is back, but he doesn't know where Cozy went. Poor Buster. There's Iggy. What's Robot Buster up to? Oh no! He's throwing tomatoes at Iggy. That's very mean. Cozy looks very upset. Robot Buster is running away now. Poor Cozy doesn't understand. Meanwhile, Terry is playing the accordion. Nice. Oh no! Robot Buster smashed the accordion. Poor Terry. Cozy is standing up to Robot. That was really mean. But what's this? It's Buster! Hooray! There's the good-bad switch. Cozy knows what to do. <laughs> Flick! Now Robot Buster is nice again. Good job, Cozy and Buster. Now Robot Buster is making up for being mean. Iggy's all clean and Terry's accordion is fixed. <laughs> Hooray! Whoa! Buster and his friends have been out trick-or-treating for Halloween. <laughs> Buster has lots of tasty sweets in his bucket. <laughs> Grandpa reminds Buster that he shouldn't eat too many sweets at once. Now Buster's up in his room. But now, no one is watching. He's eating all the sweets he can. Ouch! That really hurt! Oh no! Buster has a wobbly tooth! That's really frightening! 
Mommy's come to fetch Buster. It's dinner time, but he's hiding his wobbly tooth. I don't think he wants anyone to know. Dinner's ready. Lots of tasty vegetables. But Buster doesn't want to eat. Mommy can tell something has upset Buster. He's showing her his wobbly tooth. Aw. Grandpa knows what to do. He tells Buster to take a bite of that sweet corn. Look! Buster's tooth has fallen out. That wasn't so bad. Buster feels much better now. Now it's time for bed. <laughs> Mommy tells Buster to put the tooth under his pillow. Whilst he's asleep, the tooth fairy will come to collect it. Buster wakes up the next morning and... Whoa! A big gold star! Buster is going to wear that proudly. Now he knows there's nothing to worry about with a wobbly tooth. <laughs> <laughs>